y'all, Ryan here from Planetary Lapidary, and I'm once again on the western shore of Lake Michigan at my short stretch. It is 67 degrees on April 22nd, so it is a beautiful, beautiful day. So let's see if we can find anything. So first couple little finds, kind of just a cool little stone packed with maybe Thavisides. You kind of see the side view of the tubes right there. A little indent in the end, there you can see the tubes a little better. Kind of a limestone piece. And here you can see on this side too, really good, the tubes. So kind of a cool piece, but limestone-y. And then just one little, first little chunk of some so Looks like it should be a good day, so let's find some more. So this very intricately banded fossil soup. Pretty cool, a lot of cool little squigglies and patterns. And now that I'm standing here, I just saw this. Oh, yeah, here's another stromatophoroid. Kind of a gritty one, dusky one, but a good sign. But I'm probably not going to really keep anything today, so both of these are going back. Well, let's go. Okay, so right there, I see a big chunk right there. I think it's a chunk of stromatophoroid. I got to wait for the right wave here, though. Maybe right up to this one. Yeah, kind of a quartzy, very quartzy one. Nice little pocket right there. Kind of gritty, you know, sandstony. A little white eye right there. Really cool, but just not, not what I'd be looking for anyways. Really cool looking though. Onward. Cool little horn coral section I found. A little stump there and then it would go up like that. Pretty cool. Just a little piece though. A lot of cool stuff. The beach is kind of a little different today, you know, the waves, I thought the waves were going to be way up there, but it's kind of patchy with patches of sand and wet, and so I'm probably going to have to do some dry rock looking today, but well, let's find some more. So look at this thing. It kind of just sticks out from everything else. I'm not sure what that is. It's just some crazy limestone with just some craziness going on. I don't know, it's just weird. It's like a light blue color. Kind of cool. Kind of like sticks out from everything else. Alright, and we're going to see two, maybe three things. That's just kind of got some cool weather going on in the morning. This guy right here. And it's just going to be a quartzy bomb. Yeah, quartzy bomb with some limonite stain stuff going on. Probably your iron stain. Kind of cool. Just kind of a chunk of quartz. If it wasn't so fractured, it might take something like that to cut. And where was that third thing that I saw? Right here, man. It's bigger. Nope, oh, that's just a piece of stain line stuff. Alright, let's find some more. Alright, so I just found this, what I think is a nice piece of jasper. Not 100% sure though. I don't really know my jaspers very well. But it kind of looks like it's got like maybe some hematite or something in there, a little black flex. Hopefully it's not too sunny. But yeah, not sure. Really cool, cool color red though, but I think I'm gonna leave it here. Alright, onward. This one wants to be a unitite, but probably is more just basalt based with red and apidote. Really cool though. Kind of a cool cross section there. Find a lot of these, but a lot of them are just like granitoids with epidote instead of that true feldspar with uh, epidote, unikites. All right, let's keep going. I okay, just found another piece. I'm just not sure if this stuff is jasper or just staining. Um, really cool piece though. It's got some yellows and reds. It kind of feels waxy, I guess. I don't know. I don't know. But maybe another really cool red and yellow jasper. A really cool possible you know sometimes i hear people call this yellow jasper i just figure it's always chert but it's got a lot of different like beige and darker inclusions in there a little skeleton face right there so i don't know i always just uh throw this stuff back as chert but i might i don't know maybe want to keep one of these and cut some slabs see what's inside of there but all right, so I'm getting towards the end of my beach here, um, and then I'm gonna turn around and I'm gonna walk all these dry rocks on the way back. So we might find some bigger stuff, we might not. A couple more finds here right before the end of the beach. Found this thing, it's just very quartzy. It's got like a basalt base, but it's got all these yellow lines and then it's very quartzy all the way through. 
So I think I am going to take this one home and do a Freeform Friday piece out of that because it's like almost perfectly sitting already. So I think I'm definitely going to take that one. And then I did find this tiny little very yellow schematic boroid, which is really cool. I'm not going to keep any of these today, but all right, so let's turn around and watch some dry rocks. What I usually do is get a little handful and then head down by the water to get them wet because I don't want to keep coming back and forth all the time. So I usually do like three or four. So I haven't seen these wet yet. Let's see what we got. Oh, that's kind of one of those cool sandstony, like banded sandstony with chert and stuff in there. That's cool. I like those. And this one. Oh, kind of a crazy banded shirt, maybe? I don't know, it's got some all sorts of craziness going on in it. That's what I'm thinking, though, maybe banded shirt. And, like, when it looks waxy like that, too, when it dries off. Really cool, cool little pattern in there. And then this one... And it was just some fossil kind of included in a piece of limestone, probably. All right, let's find some more. Three more to get wet. It's getting a little windy, so I'll do my best with the sound here. I think that was enough water. All right, so we got this one, which I thought might have been, yep, a little piece of arachnophyllum. You can kind of see that little banding in there, and then it kind of goes all the way through, so that's cool. Just a little piece, though. Then we got this one, which I knew was just a schematoporoid set in, you know, probably limestone or something. You can see all that layering. Those are really cool. Another little something came out of right there. Yeah, a lot of indents, maybe two little side-by-side -side crinoids or little eyeballs right there. So a cool little piece, just, you know, kind of a gritty... Oh, actually, there's a some sort of tubular something going down right there, too, so that's cool. All right, and then the last one we got, I know what this one is for sure, because I just saw it when it was dry. Uh, it's just a nice corn coral. You know, there's the stump, and then it just goes up right like that. So I might actually keep that one as well, because I don't find too many that are, you know, this big or this good. So, all right, let's find a couple more, and then we should be back to the car. All right, another little handful. Let's see what we got. Come on, water. All right. Let's see what we got. All right, I knew what this one was. This is just a piece of syringa bora, just in some limestone. You can kind of see the sides of the tubes there, and then the tops of the tubes. So that one's definitely not coming home. This is just a schematoporoid, or maybe even a banded shirt, really dusky one. Cool looking, but you know, I find a lot of that stuff. And this one might have some cold water in it. Oh yeah, I would definitely call that a cold water pocket right there. Kind of goes all the way through and you can actually see some flakes inside of there in the depth. So I think I definitely am going to have to bring that one home because that's a nice little pocket in there. Might be able to shine that one up too, just standing up. All right, let's find just a couple more. All right, last little handful before we're back to the car here. Ooh, that actually looks really cool too. Oh, that was just right down there. It's a cool little pattern, brown and black. I don't know what kind of rock. Cool, though. All right, so the ones we grabbed, yeah, I thought this was just going to be a nice big piece of, like, purpley chert with that yellow in there. So kind of cool, but kind of fractury. And I found this guy, which I thought might have some little cold water pockets in there. Probably wanting to start. Maybe one right there on the side. Oh yeah, one kind of coming through the back there. It's kind of set in a fossil soup, so it might be fossil, might be cold water. There's a lot like this down here. And then the last one, I don't know what it would be. It might just be a spermatoporoid. Oh, actually, no. Looks like some sort of tubular coil, coral on the end here, but not sure what that is. Just a cool looking piece. I thought it might be something in particular, but not really. All right, so I did end up keeping a few things, so I'm going to head home, get everything cleaned up, and then I'll show you what we got.
Okay, so I'm home and I got everything cleaned up here. I got talking to some people on the beach, so that's why I didn't get footage of some of these that you haven't seen, but this is kind of what I kept right here. Um, this one you definitely didn't see. Uh, this was just an awesome, awesome, I think it's a Syringopora, um, even though these couple tubes are connected down here. I still don't think it's a chain, it's just not like chain connections really. So I think it's just a syringe of four and it goes all the way through. So this will be a perfect piece to put in some muriatic acid and let, and you know, uh, acid away of some of this mudstone in here so these tubes stick out a little bit and then that piece will be awesome. So I had, to, I had to pick that up, I've never seen one quite that good. Then this was another one, I think it's just a chunk of limestone. You can see right here, it's got this kind of very micro banded agate pocket, and it actually comes through to this side, and it's right there. So you can kind of see the very, very micro bands on there. Um, so I don't know, I figured maybe I could cut this thing down the middle and maybe I'll catch that, like maybe it gets wider in the middle of this and it's like a nodule. Yeah, and then it has a fossil right in the end there. Kind of looks like a little face with eyes there. But yeah, just a cool piece. I figured, you know, never really seen black and white agate bands like that. So I figured I'll cut it and see what's inside. And I did pick up two Jacobsville sandstones just because they had really good patterning on them. You know, this one's almost entirely patterned with the red and white. And then this one's got kind of the red and, you know, pinkish kind of, but all the way through again. So I'll use those two for my landscape project. Then these last three you guys did see, uh, this was that horn coral, which is, you know, almost a full horn. So that was a super nice piece, a little bit of fossil soup on the edge there, but you know, the top and the stump. So that was a really good one. This was the one little cold water agate piece we found with kind of some pluminess or some plates in there you can kind of see. And then it kind of goes wispy on the side and then churdy on the back kind of, maybe a little pocket right there coming through. Another one there maybe, but that was a cool little piece. And then last but not least, we kept that piece for Freeform Friday, which this is that kind of weird purplish and yellow conglomerate or, you know, brescia that I find. Um, I'm still not 100% sure what it's from. It's just from a certain formation um, that makes it look like this, <clears throat> you know, the purpley. So what I'm going to do is just keep this for a Freeform Friday, you know, just shave the bottom off and just shine it up on the front like that. I think it'll look awesome. So yeah, it's not a bad hunt today. It was beautiful outside. You know, I'm super stoked about this. This is this is so cool. Like look at the look at the definition on there. And it's all silica in there, so the mudstone should just burn right out of here. So awesome, awesome. All right, so if you like this video, leave a like, hit subscribe if you haven't already. Stay tuned for a couple close-ups at the end, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.